This is the Spotlight segment. Stay tuned for premium interviews, device unboxing and more. And we close this episode with an unboxing. And John excitingly brings us an unboxing of the Zenfone 10, a flagship phone that will probably be popular uh, for fans of smaller phones. Hi, John here. And today I'm going to be unboxing the Asus Zenfone 10. And the specific version I got is the... Um, 16 gigabytes RAM and 512 gigabytes storage version. So this thing is a beast. It's got plastic wrap on it, so I'm going to start by seeing if I can get at that. Okay, there we go. Now this is a nice size box, which means this is going to have more than just a phone and a charging cable in it, which is nice for a change. All right, got the plastic wrap off. I'm opening the box now. And on top we have, um, a cardboard section that you can remove and see what's in here open it up Ooh, okay it comes with all the books and stuff but around those books is a case I'm gonna open this case and see what it's like um, it's just a basic case. You snap it on the back. It has some side protection. And the camera hole on the back has a little raised section around it. So, very basic case, but not bad for free. Next, we have the phone. I'm going to set this aside. That's actually... That's a pretty good size heavy I should say it's heavy for its size okay going to see what's under the phone we have a charger and a charging cable so the charger is included it's a nice size brick I think it's uh 30 watts and it has a USB-C charger port on it, so I'm assuming this cable is USB-C to USB-C. Yes. So that's... I'm just going to sit that stuff back down in there. Set this stuff aside, get to the phone part. I'm going to pull this wrapping off of it. Okay, I, I'm not going to lie, I thought it was going to be smaller than it is. <laughs> it's nice though. I guess there's not that much of a difference between 5.9 inches and 6.2 inches, which is, I think that's what the Pixel 8 is, which is a pretty small phone. I'm actually going to get my Pixel 8 to compare it. Okay, I've grabbed my Pixel 8. I'm going to take it out of the case and compare the size. Huh. Okay. It is a little bit shorter and a little bit more narrow. So it's it's close to the same size as the Pixel 8. It actually feels a little bit thicker, too. Yeah, it is a little bit thicker than the Pixel 8. So, volume, they're probably very similar. 
put the pixel light back in the case. So now I'm going to describe the device to you. It's so this is the back. Let's see. Does it have a sticker on it? Yeah. Take the sticker off because it feels interesting. I don't know what it's made of. Get this sticker off. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's. Let's see. I'm just gonna. This is my fingernails on it. it. Feels like it's some kind of plastic. It doesn't have a premium feel to it. the The device has a good weight to it, and the sides are nice. The back has. I guess they went with plastic. I mean, it's obviously not metal because this has wireless charging. So, and it's not glass, so yeah, it's plastic. It's got a good grip to it, though. It's definitely not going to slip out of my hand. So, all right, I'll describe the device. Um, I'll start on the right side. The volume buttons are at the top, as they should be. Pixel. <laughs> no, I, I think just about every phone other than the Pixel does it this way. So the volume buttons are on the top right, and below that is the power button, which is flush. So, I don't know how I feel about that. It's You really can't feel it at all. Um, I guess once you get a case on it, that part's going to be open, because it'll have a fingerprint, because it has a fingerprint sensor, so it'll be easy to find with a case on it, but just having it like this without a case... Uh, yeah, might take some getting used to. So that's the right side. The left side, nothing of importance. The top, on the left side of the top is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is a rarity these days. And I'm assuming there's a microphone up here as well. Um, can't necessarily feel it. And on the bottom we have the USB-C port, and the speaker is on the right, to the right of the USB-C port. And there must be a microphone on the left, yeah. Alright. And the back of the device, so I've faced, the screen is now facing away from me, and the cameras are on the top left. They're a good size, um... The part that protrudes, I don't know if that's the lens itself or just glass, but I guess I'd say it's about the size of a, using U.S. currency here, is about the size of a nickel, and then the one below it, about the size of a penny. And, yeah, the, the one on the top sticks out further, about about twice as far as the one on the bottom. All right, this is the moment of truth. I'm going to turn it on and see what we have here. I'm holding it. Okay, it just vibrated. I'm just going to wait. I won't edit this part just so you get a good idea. Unless it's really long, then I will <laughs> edit it. Okay, there's a boot sound. Now, I don't know if that means it's ready or not, but I'm going to press these volume keys and see what happens. I'm holding them. There press was, and hold okay. both volume keys for three seconds to use talkback. I'm going to do it again. Talkback on. Held volume keys. There we talk go. Talkback turned on. Set up wizard. Welcome. Welcome to TalkBack. Welcome to TalkBack. I'm backing out of this. Setup wizard. Welcome. Okay. It did not ask for permission to use the phone, so I wonder if this is an older version of TalkBack, but it will update itself once we get in there. Let's see what we have on this main screen. Okay, no speech. Drop down okay, list. here English we go. United, unlabeled. Okay, that's Don't tap to activate. Already we have something unlabeled. Welcome. Unlabeled. Drop down list. English. I, th 
Oh, this must have a proximity sensor. Let's, Let's see. Drop down list. That's why I was. Okay. Let's uh Let's go. Button. I'm Double just gonna have to activate. I'm gonna hit let's go and see what happens. Let me adjust the volume first Unlabeled. actually. Let's go. Button. Drop down. Let's go. Button. Accessibility volume set to 64 per Wi-Fi. In progress. Progress bar. Wi-Fi. So I've got to connect to a Wi-Fi network. It's not letting me just start set up from a different phone. Okay, so I've got the Wi-Fi connected. I'm going to hit next. Set up wizard. And I sped the speech rate up a little bit. Let me slow it back down. Speech rate 121%. Speech rate 110%. Right. Swipe up with three fingers. <sighs> this end user license agreement, EULA, constitute... Next, button. I'm gonna Double. agree to this stuff. Set up wizard. Know your privacy rights. Location information. S more, button. Confirm, button. Just gonna Getting accept your phone everything. Ready. This may take a few minutes. Copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more. Next, button. Okay, I'm gonna... Double tap. Copy. Use your other device. You need another Android device, or an iPhone, or can't use other device. Next, button. What do I say next? Find your other device's cable. Use a cable... I don't... I'm gonna say I don't have a no cable. No cable. Button. Copy without a cable. You'll get your... Yeah. Go back. Button. Copy without cable. Right. Button. Copy without cable. Data transfer tool. Use your other device to transfer data wirelessly. Heading. Switching from iPhone or iPad. Button. Can't use other device. Next. Button. Next. Checking info. In progress. Progress bar. Service. Hey Google. Model update. Updating voice model to better recognize when you say, Hey Google. Account setup. Checking info. Heading. Device setup. Open the Google app on your old device. Heading. Copying's done. Copying's done. Heading. In list. And just like that, it's finished, thanks to the power of editing. Apps. 156 apps were copied and photos and videos copied successfully. I'm just going to go to the bottom right. Done. Button. Out of list. I hit done. Getting your phone ready. This may take a few minutes. Talk back on. Getting your phone ready. Welcome to talk back. Welcome to TalkBack, page one of five. TalkBack is a screen reader intended for situations or people who have difficulty seeing the screen. Okay. Getting your phone ready. This may take a few minutes. Set up wizard. Protect your phone. It's getting my... Scroll. Speech rate. It got my TalkBack settings, that's why everything's Speech rate fast. Speech, 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 Speech rate 56%. And my uh, TTS rate transferred over. Speech rate 51%. Okay. Speech rate 56%. This might be more tolerable. Let's see about prevent others from using this, this. to learn more. Set up face recognition. Set up fingerprint. I'm gonna do fingerprint. Set up wizard. Add a fingerprint. Your registered fingerprint data will only be stored in skip button. Continue button. Continue. Set up wizard. Choose screen lock. For added secure fingerprint plus pattern. Fingerprint plus pin. Fingerprint plus pattern. I'm a pattern guy. Set up wizard. Choose your pattern. Set up wizard. Notifications. Okay. When your device is locked, how do you want notifications to show? Selected. Show all notification content. Radio button. That's what I want. Not selected. Not select. Next. Button. I was going to do my fingerprint. Set up wizard. Locate fingerprint scanner. Okay. Set up. Just putting my finger, thumb on the side now here. Now repeat. Just gonna do it a bunch. Capture more. S seems to be pretty fast. Don't know what percent it's at, but it keeps vibrating. Okay, I think I'm done. Your fingerprint is ready. Anything? Add another. But next button. Next. Set up wizard. Protect your phone. Fingerprint setup successful. Click to set up face recognition. Next. Button. Smart key. Smart key combines the power key and the fingerprint sensor for easier and faster unlocking when holding your phone. 
Okay. Smart key customization is also available with press and hold or tap twice gestures. To know more about smart key customization, please go to settings greater than advanced greater than smart key. Okay, that sounds fun. Next, button. Setup wizard. System preferences. Settings commonly accessed by users are integrated into ASUS optimization mode to quickly adjust your preferences. Stock Android. Unlabeled button. Not selected. Radio button. ASUS optimized. Not selected. Radio button. Hmm. Next, button disabled. I guess I'll do stock Android. I'm assuming I could change this later. Not selected. ASUS op. Not select. Unlabeled. But stock Android settings commonly stock and unlabeled, but not selected radio button. I'm assuming this is selected for stock Android. Asus optimized, not selected. Re next button. I'm going to hit next. Loading in progress. Progress bar. My asses. Register your Asus product. <laughs> My asses. <laughs> uh, can I skip this? Serial number. Register your Asus product. Get professional tech. Get the latest information. Log in. Button. Forgot password. Next. Button. Setup wizard. System setup completed. Okay, so I just hit next and it let me skip. Now we have... Drive. Google LLC. Google Drive. Part of Google. Unlabeled. Google TV. Google LLC. Google TV app. Previously S unlabeled. Still some unlabeled things here, so... Neat. It's asking me if I want these apps. Google Duo is the highest unlabeled. Let's hit this unlabeled thing. See what happens. Google unlabeled. Okay, so it's vibrating. It's probably checking or unchecking these. Unfortunately, I don't think it's letting me know, so. Meet. Google L next button. I'll just hit next. Set up wizard. Choose a theme. Using the dark theme can decrease battery. Unlabeled. Button. Dark. Selected. Radio button. Unlabeled. Button. Light. Not selected. Confirm. Button. Hit confirm. System UI. Choose system navigation. Swipe with gestures or tap the buttons to switch screens. Okay. Gestures. Selected. Radio button. Yeah, that's what I want, so I'm just going to go bottom next. right. Button. Hit next. System UI. System UI. Instructions of navigation gestures. I know this. Done. Button. I'm going to hit done. Tutorial completed. Good job. I got it. Button. Just going to hit I got it. Device unlocked. Se select a home app. Window select a home app. Select a home app. You're this pinching hand close to being done. Finish setting up your phone with Google in a minute. Asus launcher. Nova 7. Let's try Asus Launcher. Asus Launcher. Asus Phone Clone. Skip. Asus Phone Clone. Yeah. Skip. I don't have another phone, so I'm skipping. Home. Search. And here we are. Clock. Looks like. Gallery. We're all done with the setup. Play Store has one notification. That wraps up this. The screen off. Unboxing and quick setup of the Asus Zenfone 10. Thanks for listening. Thanks very much, John. I imagine you'll probably review it in due course, but have you played with it much more since the unboxing? Yeah, I have. Um, I One thing I wanted to mention that I forgot to mention in the recording is the placement of the SIM card tray. It's, for anyone who's curious, it's on the bottom. It's to the left of the... USB-C port, but the SIM eject, where you're going to want to put the SIM eject ejection tool is to the very left of the SIM card slot, so it's near the bottom left corner of the phone. The microphone they placed on the opposite side of the uh, SIM tray, so it it's right next to the, the mic, the hole you don't want to put the pin in is to the right side of the SIM tray, so you're going to want to use the hole on the left side of the SIM tray near the corner of the phone. But yeah, to answer your question, Ed, I have been playing with it. I haven't really 
used it much, but I have been like digging into settings to see what it can and can't do. And I've been pretty impressed with how customizable it is. I mean, it's got a lot of things that I like from other phones. Like it has the screen off gestures that OnePlus phones have. It lets you customize, uh, you know, double presses or long presses of the side key and what happens when you swipe on the fingerprint sensor, that sort of thing. So it does have a lot of customizations that, you know, that's, that's the kind of stuff that I look forward to when I get a new phone, especially from a brand that I haven't used before. I like to see what they've added, you know, to their version of Android. Nice. And uh, that, that one has a headphone socket, doesn't it? Does it also have an SD card? No, it does not have an SD card slot. It does have the headphone jack, though. And unfortunately, yeah. I thought that meant it would have an FM radio, but I could not find one or could not figure out how to get one working if you can. So that was a little bit of a bummer, but I, not, that's not something I use. I just I just figured, you know, if it has the headphone jack, maybe it'll have an FM radio, but it, it didn't. Yeah. Well, look forward to hearing more about that in due course.